Welcome to three, today's 3D print and filament Friday. I got a new filament to play with. Um, one of the problems I was having is I really love that super cheap filament that I found, the $9 filament that I found on um, Amazon, or $11.99 filament. And it is, I think, too bright. Without the screen, it is too bright. Okay, that's much better. Um, so I had to find a replacement, so a cheap filament that I could buy to make my cheap prints, and um, I found it. I didn't want to say anything until I tried it myself. This is 3D Solutech, okay? and this is their normal PLA, not the Ultra PLA, and this is their real white. I wasn't sure what that meant, actually. I thought it was just a gimmicky thing, Ultra PLA, real white, what's that mean? <laughs> Something to differentiate them from everybody else. Um, this is a vase print. Okay. And this is a dragon's egg. Now this, I don't know if the video is even going to be able to pick this up, but this is something that really caught me off guard until after I printed it, and I was like, whoa, that's what they meant by real white. This is the 1199 PLA. This is 1599 PLA. Um, the quality is no different. They're both equally strong. They both print like butter. They are both nice and malleable. They're both very strong. You are not going to break them squeezing it. They're about to act right throws against the wall and it's not going to break. Either one of them. They're both very good PLAs. But the color is very different. I don't know if you can see the difference. I can see it in the, in the screen, but I don't know if you can. Um, if you guys have printed, go away. I turned the goddamn ringer off and it rang anyway. <laughs> um, if you guys have printed with white PLA before, you're going to understand what I'm about to tell you. They're not really white. They're more of a translucent white. No, they're, they're kind of um, a see-through white. They're not like a pure, actual white. This is. It's an actual, pure white. A real white. Now I know what they meant by real white. So now I'm actually really interested in getting their real black and seeing how black it is. And I also have a roll of the real orange, which I'm going to be printing. So I love orange. I really, really like orange. But this is a single perimeter. And you can see how nice and white that is. Like it's actually white, and it's good and strong. Look at that. I can squeeze it shut, and it does not crack. The layers do not separate. Okay, all the way. Nice push on the sides here. No separation. Oh, there we go. I broke it. <laughs> it's it's a vase print. You push hard enough, you're gonna break it. Let's see how strong it is. Okay, it pretty much breaks on the layer line. That's what you'd usually expect from a vase print, but as you see, it took a lot of abuse to get to that point. You know, it's not bad. I mean, Fifteen ninety nine a kilogram on Amazon. The colors are seventeen ninety nine, but the um, the white is fifteen ninety nine. I think the black is fifteen ninety nine as well, and the colors, you know, red, blue, orange, stuff like that. Those are seventeen ninety nine, and they appear to actually be able to keep them in stock. It is called three D Solutech. Um, they are also the ones that make the Ultra PLAs, which I'll be reviewing separately. Moron. I told him to go away. Um, <laughs> um, I'll be reviewing these separately because these have a layer adhesion problem. It's okay. It's worth buying anyway. You just have to be careful how you use them because, I mean, you don't want to make one of these with the Ultra PLA because it's just going to crack all day long. Like this one here is holding up, but um, if I did this in the Ultra PLA, it, each time I did this, it would just flick off another layer of the plastic. It's, it has very poor layer adhesion. My guess is whatever they add to it to get this incredible shiny finish inhibits layer adhesion. So more on that later. I'm experimenting, seeing how I can do anything to improve the layer adhesion, but that is also the PLA. The Ultra PLA is what I use to make this dragon. And make this dragon. So that stuff's pretty cool. But 
There must be something mentally retarded with his brain. Um, that's it. <laughs> Great video, huh? Lots of interruptions. Um, I'll have links below for where to get this filament. Um, there are affiliate links. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy it. If you want a nice, good, clean, white PLA, that's it. I'm still going to keep an eye out for if they ever restock the um, that $12 a kilo PLA because that's just an incredible price. I mean, this is only um, $4 more per kilo, but that's still um, a 25% increase in price. If I can get a whole bunch more of this stuff at $12 a kilo, I'm going to do that. But for nicer fruits, I really like this white pizza. I'm going to show it to you one more time. Again, it's hard, to, it's hard to see. This is the normal white, and this is the real white. But um, it's really hard to see on a camera. I would be hard-pressed to tell the difference on camera. But you can see how this is having a little bit of a bluish cast. That's because it's slightly translucent. So the light kind of passes through it a little bit. While this is a more pure white. It's cool. I like it. You guys have a great day.